Guys, um, I'm going to talk about procrastination in this video. I have a question and if I'm getting the question right, I hope I am. The question is when we're putting off important work or we're not working towards a goal that we have that we've decided is important for us. There are seems to be blocks in the way of us following through on those on those goals. And the question is, is it are those blocks real? I think this is what the question is saying at least. Are those blocks real or are they blocks that we create in our mind? And the answer to that I would say is that they are, the blocks that we create are almost all mind made. So it's to do with the stories we tell ourselves about the, the work that we're interested in doing and want to pursue. So that's basically one of the things that I did in the procrastination course that I made recently. It's I systematically looked at all of the blocks to actually getting over procrastination. And those blocks are about the way we frame the work that we have to do and in terms of how important we think the work is. But essentially, if you just start to question some of those ideas you have about the project that you're engaged on or your inability to take action or how hard it is or framing it said that it's going to be difficult or a challenging thing to overcome if you start to question some of those core beliefs that we have or those assumptions or myths or blocks then the problem just goes away so it's not about a character flaw you have it's not about you being lazy or defective somehow or it's not something that another system you learn is going to fix. That's not going to be what it is that helps you get past procrastination, indecision or inaction. It's very simply just look at the blocks I'm creating, the mental blocks I'm creating and start to inquire, start to challenge them. With the goal of never feeling overwhelmed, never feeling stressed, taking care of myself, making this process as enjoyable for myself as is possible. And you'll find that your motivation just goes way, way up. It's about taking care of yourself. It's about having fun and enjoying it. And seeing daily consistent progress towards your goal. When you have that feeling of, I'm making progress, even if it's small, on a day-to-day -day basis, that all gathers pace, you start to build momentum and you start to see positive feedback. So the question about whether these blocks are real or not, I would say the blocks certainly feel real when we experience them, when we're lying on the couch and we just don't want to take action and we can't understand why. But in truth, they're just assumptions. They're about the stories we've been told about what it means to be productive, what it means to be uh, an effective, productive person and how we associate that with being a good person. What if it was a lot simpler than we were told it was? And uh, what if we start to feel alive when we start to make consistent steps in the right direction, the direction that we know we want to move and seeing it is easy and achievable. So I hope that answers that question. And if you have any other questions, you can send them to me. My procrastination course is available now on my website and uh, it's designed to basically help you move through all these blocks. And it's moving out of the old paradigm of um, you got to work harder, you have to hustle, you have to grind, push yourself all the time, to taking it a little bit more deeper, to take it to a place where you're developing self-awareness and self-compassion for yourself and making progress on your goals and actually achieving your goals rather than staying in indecision for too long. So you can check that out on my website if you're interested. And uh, thanks for watching today's video. You can like this video, subscribe if you, if you enjoy the content and I'll see you next time.